So, we just got to uh, Wichita Falls, Texas after 10 hours on the road today on the Great Broussard Epic RV Excursion 2019. Uh, everybody's kind of settling in for the night, getting ready for bed. You girls, uh, you girls love driving today? Yeah. Did y'all love driving? Yeah. Yeah, you love it? The truth is, y'all, it was uh, as... As long a drive as we had, it was a lot less stressful than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I felt like I could have put in another 10 hours, to be quite honest. We're going to pull to Amarillo tomorrow, and then over to Pueblo, and then uh, Royal Gorge on our way to Grand Junction to drop this dude off for a 28-day Alpine Skills training course, which uh, he gets to sleep under the stars for 28 days. Pretty, pretty freaking sweet. You excited, bro? I'm pretty pumped up, actually. Yeah? Sure. You've been practicing? You've been training? So-so. Yeah. So-so. <laughs> Let's see that hair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you ready for bed? Yes. Tired. You happy with up in this R, Ruby? I'm <laughs> terrible. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, y'all? We on our way to Amarillo. It's a beautiful day. It started out a little rainy this morning, but uh, looking like it's going to be a nice shiny day. I hope you guys are having a good one, and we'll check in later on. Peace. Mama Sonia finally got behind the wheel of this beast. How's it handling, Ma? I'm tired already. <laughs> <laughs> what about y'all? Y'all having a good time? All right now, we'll be there shortly. I'll say this, the guys in the band would not, uh, would not take too kindly to our methods of travel these days. I'm not talking about the mode, but the, uh, but the practice. See, we turned a three and a half hour drive into uh, what is now looking like four, five, five hours. Uh, that's just kind of how we roll, you know? We like to stop. Take a little look around, maybe walk around a little bit. I mean, what do you expect? It's a family vacay. Road trip 2019. Woo-hoo! So there's a big Texas steakhouse, big Texas ranch steakhouse just up the road from us. And check out the ride that they sent us. Are you kidding me right now? How epic is this? Looking forward to the old 72-ouncer. Gonna try to tackle it, maybe. I don't know. Probably not, actually. But anyways, I thought y'all would get a kick out of this. But there's our available to you. Once you finish up in the dining area, you'll probably want to take a stroll around past the bar area through our picture gallery in the hallway. You'll notice most of those pictures, as you walk by them, will actually change. You can even get copies of some of those Wonderful. in the gift shop. But that whole way, it's going to lead you back to the restrooms. And at the end of that hallway is a set of double glass doors that open up out onto our rear garden and back there one of the first things you'll see will be a giant oversized rock look at this place this is insane <laughs> <laughs> this is a hip spot y'all Oh, 
Good. Come on, bud. Give me some tricks. Yeah, Watch your feet. You look like such a little boy with that hat on, y'all. Y'all, this dude is about to be 14 years old. <laughs> he looks like a little buckaroo there. On the road again. Woke up early and got back on the road again. I ate some cereal and sucked the RV in. We're on the road again. Uh, hey, folks, we're headed to uh, the Royal Gorge today. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this drive because Gavin is the only one that's ever been to Colorado before. <laughs> the others haven't really seen these western mountains. They've seen some foothills in the east, but never seen the Rocky Mountains. So I'm really looking forward to getting into Colorado today. The weather, as you can see, is beautiful. I'm hoping that we can cross over into uh, Colorado in a fairly uneventful fashion. Hope y'all are having a great day, and uh, we'll see y'all throughout the day. Peace! Hey, so you saw some pretty big mountains for the first time today. Was it beautiful? Yeah. And where are we now? Do you know? Colorado. Where? Colorado. Where in Colorado? I don't know. <laughs> we are in Canyon City. I'm, I'm not that smart. I'm yes, you are. Thing. You are ridiculously smart. What are you talking about? That, that smart that I know where everything is. I'm that, that's pretty smart. We're only going to the third grade, Dad. Do you know where we are? Canyon City, Colorado. We looked it up. And do you know where we're going tomorrow? The Royal Gorge. There's a thousand foot in the air footbridge across the entire gorge. And you can zip line across it. Do you want to zip line across it? These people take the game of life so serious. It's the game of life, Dad. Oh my gosh. Mom's just angry. Mom's just angry because I'm winning. Oh my God. Look at this beautiful sunset here, y'all. With this beautiful bride of mine. How about it, y'all? Am I a lucky guy or what? My goodness. So blessed. And it's all thanks to all those wonderful folks that keep Hi. showing up every time we come through. Hey, y'all. Uh, Gavin here was just bragging about how many friends of his back in the day in school that he took down with arm wrestling. And I said, hey, you want to you try, try it against me? And he, and he said, yeah. And I'm really excited about this because I know exactly how it's gonna go. You ready? Yeah. Look. Oh my god. Oh. You ready for it, boss? I'm not even gonna use my other hand. Okay, okay, let's do this. Whenever you're ready. Okay, go. Oh. <laughs> All right, now we got 16 year old Gavin versus 13 year old Gib. Yeah. Ready? Go. <laughs> no. Look, Big G being a nice big brother to Lil E. Y'all having fun? Yeah. Yeah. I guess. It's a Get it on. Let's see how fast you can go. Come on, girl. Let me see the speed you got on that thing. You got it? Go fast! I love my family! Hey y'all, uh, this dude is close to 700 followers on IG. Yo, I, I was hoping you guys could follow him. What's your, uh, what's your at? What's your uh, call sign? Garbage underscore fry. Say again? Garbage underscore fry. Wonderful. Yeah, I just put out an EP on SoundCloud. A little indie, a little lo-fi, a little punk. In the middle of all those, so please check it out. Love it. All right, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Uh, 
the wife wanted to get up early and check out the sunrise. And then uh, I'm the only one that got up. This landscape is kind of ridiculous. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. I wish you guys could see these mountains back here. These ones, they're beautiful. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Love to all y'all. Peace. Oh, snap. Look who decided to show up. Look who came to the party. Hey, mama. Good morning. Isn't it beautiful here? Hey, y'all. So we are now in Salt Lake. Sorry about not being able to update you more when we were in Lake Powell, but the service was not very good. However, Lake Powell is very good. It's one of the most beautiful lakes I've ever seen. We had a ball hanging on the boats a couple of days in a row. And, uh, and now we're in Salt Lake. And, you know, as I was thinking earlier, the way I typically travel doesn't really allow me to take in a, a city. I've been to Salt Lake a bunch of times, but I've never been able to take it in like I have now. And it is absolutely hip, man. We had the best breakfast this morning. I had chicken and waffles. It was great. Um, and now we're at that Natural History Museum, and this place is real hip. So anyways, just want to touch base. I hope y'all are having a great Sunday. Peace. Kiddos. Yo. yo. How'd y'all like the Natural History Museum? Oh, Wait. It's a banger. It. It was so banger. Come on. You don't have to lie. It's it's a freaking Natural History Museum. No. How'd you, how do you really feel about it? Was it? it was always amazing. Banger. Really was it? Totally no, it was banger. What was, your, what was your favorite part of it? Everything. Dinos. I liked the dinos. I like the well, dinosaur well, leg. Dinos. <laughs> dinos. Dinosaurs. Heard that. That place was incredible, by what the way. What was your favorite part Salt Lake City is quickly growing on me. I need to spend more time here. On the road again. Having this much fun should be a sin. Wish that I could take y'all everywhere with me. Cause we're on the road again. We're leaving Salt Lake. We are headed up to uh, Honeyville, Utah, which is where the uh, most highly mineral. Uh, how do you? I don't even know how you say that. Mineralized. How highly miner mineralized hot springs are. Uh, there's a, a place called Crystal Springs Baths that we're gonna go, uh, or Crystal Springs Hot Springs, or something like that. We're gonna go. Take a dip in some hot springs. Sonia read last night that there's like 130 degree pools uh, of water that that you can soak in. I, I'm a little scared about sitting in water that that hot, but nonetheless, uh, I'll dip a toe in. We are all excited as all get out of it. When we first started the trip, crossing from Amarillo to Colorado was kind of insane, windy. And I was like, I told Sonny, I was like, that's probably the worst we're going to experience on this trip. Nah, -uh. not, not true. No. Nah. Today, coming into Chicago, was some of the most treacherous driving I've ever experienced in my life. We were praying and cursing, and it was, honestly, it was kind of scary, to be quite honest with you. I thought the RV was going to tip over. But we made it to Chicago, and everybody excited about being here. Yeah? We're going to get some paisanos. We're going to get some deep dish. What, what? <laughs> oh, yes. Paisanos. <laughs> this thing is so enormous. Oh my God. What, 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 what? Give it up. 
What's going on here? What's going on here with this giant globe of chocolate? <laughs> being cho there's chocolate being poured on top of oh chocolate, it looks like. <gasps> Whoa! There's ice cream inside. 